Okay, today I'm going to be talking about Enzo's new platform called FlowScript. And first I'll explain a little bit about the technology in general and then explain further details about how we worked with ACIA to validate our HPV E6, E7 mRNA assay. So the FlowScript assay is a novel flow cytometry-based technology for mRNA detection. So why look at mRNA? Detecting DNA simply only tells you about the presence of a gene, but it doesn't tell you further information about the downstream transcription and translation into actual proteins. So mRNA provides a greater information about the actual gene expression and protein expression. FlowScript is Enzo's unique technology that utilizes oligonucleotide probes to detect mRNA in intact cells via flow cytometry. The main feature of FlowScript is that it's a homogenous system that eliminates post-hybridization wash steps. What this means is as soon as you incubate your sample with the probes, you can analyze them directly on the flow cytometer. So that really eliminates leakage and signal degradation. FlowScript uses a proprietary technology that incorporates both a fluorophore and a quencher into the probe design. And this fluorophore and quencher technology enables homogeneous phase detection of mRNA by hybridization. So what this means is you can basically add the probe to your sample, and after incubation, you don't need to wash your sample and you can directly analyze them on a flow cytometer. And post-hybridization, cells can be assayed with different cellular dyes, and also antibodies. So FlowScript really provides a multiplexed cellular analysis of your cells. You can look at mRNA and also actual protein expression via antibodies or other cellular dyes. In addition, FlowScript has a really simple protocol. You simply fix your cells for 30 minutes, you wash them twice, you hybridize for two hours, first at a one hour incubation, at a higher temperature, allowing the probes to anneal to the target of interest. And then there's a cooling phase. And then after your cooling phase for an hour, you can directly analyze your cells on a flow cytometer. So there's no wash steps necessary. And your results from start to finish are within three hours. The main advantages of FlowScript are that it pairs gene expression analysis with population identification via flow cytometry. RNA levels can be analyzed in a population of mixed samples, so you can have different cell types that you're looking at and separate them with simple scatter methods. In addition to just looking at scatter, of course, with flow cytometer, you can also an analyze antibody staining and also other cellular dyes to identify organelles or other targets. And in addition, it's an efficient workflow with low sample input volume. I'm now going to focus on the e HPV E6, E7 assay, and this is a flow cytometer-based assay for detection of the HPV oncoproteins E6 and E7. In the natural history of HPV, most HPV infections are actually cleared. However, in about 10 to 15 percent of patients, a persistent HPV infection will develop. And this can develop into cervical intraneoplasia and then further to cervical cancer. The HPV viral genome has eight open reading frames, E6, E7, E1, E2, E4, E5, and L1 and L2. The viral genome during cervical cancer progression often gets integrated into the host cell. Data has shown that the overexpression of E6 and E7 in a host cell often leads to the progression of cervical disease. It's the detection of these E6 and E7 mRNA transcripts that tells you not only about the presence of the virus, but also the integration into the host cell. This integration progresses to cancer through the growth, promoting the growth of malignant tumor cells. And it does this by inhibiting tumor suppressors. And this 
overexpression of E6 and E7 has been linked strongly to the development and progression of cervical cancer. And E6, E7 is the target mRNA of the HPV E6, E7 assay. It's got this very simple workflow, um, the same as the, all of the flow script technology in general. It has a small sample volume required of about 300 microliters. The sample in this case is a cytology sample, either thin prep or short path. First you fix the cells, then you wash the cells twice with the buffer provided, and then you hybridize your probes uh, with the target E6, E7 mRNA by simply incubating at certain temperatures. And during this hybridization phase, only bound probes will fluoresce. Unbound probes will not fluoresce due to the technology. Immediately after your hybridization steps, you can analyze directly your sample on any flow cytometer that has a 488 nanometer laser. So the simplest flow cytometers can be compatible with the flow script assay. And this is an example of where we used HPV positive patient samples, and this was positive via a PCR DNA test. So these two patients were positive uh, for the HPV DNA, but however, when they were analyzed with the flow script assay for E6 and E7 viral mRNA, only one of them had a positive E6 and E7 expression. So this shows how looking at E6 and E7 provides greater information than just looking at DNA. The main features of the flow script assay include that it has uh, quick results within three hours, it's a homogenous system with fewer steps. Fewer steps means more reliable results because you don't have to wash your cells and that reduces sample loss and also signal leakage. And we also include external controls, positive and negative control cells, and this enables consistent assay performance. And the FlowScript assay is adaptable to high throughput platforms for rapid sample analysis, and it has a very low sample input of 300 microliters. The next few slides I'll show how um, we use ACEA's Novacyte to analyze the flow script assay. So first we set the gates with negative and control cells, looking at both forward scatter and side scatter, and then gating on um, the FITSI channel. Next we analyze a couple of different cell types that were known to either be HPV positive or HPV negative. So we analyze the HeLa cell type, which is a known HPV positive cell line. And you can see that it's 92% positive with the flow script HPV assay. Next we analyze JerkAt cells, which is a T cell line and known to be HPV negative. And next in the study, we tested an N of 10 of different known positive clinical samples. We used uh, samples from our ENSO clinical labs and we analyzed them on the ASEA's Novacyte. So this is just representative data of the 10 samples that we tested and it showed positivity for the HPV E6, E7 assay. In addition, we also tested an N of 10 um, cytology samples of known negative samples and this is just a representative plot, again, of some of the data that we showed, and it is uh, negative here in the FITSI channel. So this shows that the flow script assay is compatible with ACA's Novacyte, and that really um, it's a very simple assay that only needs one laser to be analyzed. I also just wanted to mention um, some of the further things we have in the pipeline at Enzo Life Sciences for FlowScript. Um, we have other markers of cancer detection, um, pathogen infection, immune profiling, and other cytokine expression analysis targets in plan for the FlowScript platform. Also, in addition, we have an internal control that we're working on that is really um, a staining control to show that you really pop properly permeabilized and hybridized your cell. So your internal control should always be positive when you're um, testing, uh, when you're using it with FlowScript. And it's going to be a different color than your probe of interest, so you're supposed to add your internal control at the same time you're hybridizing your target. So that's it for me for um, the FlowScript assay. And if you have any questions, you can visit ACA's booth, and I'll be there to answer any questions you have.